guys, it's Sarah from All Things Apple Blossom. I hope you guys are having a great week. It's been a busy one for me, so I wanted to jump on here and just give you guys an update on how my week has been. And then I have a product review to do. Um, full disclosure, I am not selling anything. I did not receive anything from this company. I have purchased all these products out of my own money. And this therefore is my own opinion. It's just a great product that I have found and I've loved and I'll share that opinion with you in a little bit. So this week started off with Monday being a wonderful day at the Pregnancy Resource Center that I volunteer at. I had a full client load and was busy all day and I loved it. I had recorded a video on Monday and then my iPad kind of died on me and I couldn't finish the video because I didn't have enough memory. So I'm trying this one on my phone. So hopefully this will still work for you guys. Tuesday was just school and puppy training and I have a puppy trying to break in right now. She is, <laughs> she's four months old today and she is a handful. Her name is Piper. She's a great Pyrenees and she is going to be trained as my service dog. One of the two that I have. Um, one's going to take a little bit more work than the other, but Piper doesn't like to be separated from me. So she's over there jumping on the gate as we speak. Wednesday was another awesome day for me. Uh, one of the first clients I ever had when I first started volunteering at the Pregnancy Resource Center where I live came in and brought her baby and it was wonderful to see them both and enjoy baby snuggles. What is better than baby snuggles, right? So this week has just been staying busy with homework, staying on top of school. I taught a lesson in my psychology class this week and that was fun. It's the second time I've taught in the class. It's a human relations class. I really, really enjoy it. For those of you that don't know, I am a full-time college student. I attend adult and continuing ed, and I take my classes at night, which is really nice and convenient when you are an adult. Uh, my courses are eight weeks, and I have about 18 months left before I finish my bachelor's degree. I should graduate in December of 2019. And then it's off to grad school for me and traditional school at that. And I do apologize because Piper is really trying to jump in here. Then let's see, Thursday I had papers due and today of course is Friday. And I volunteered at my second volunteer job for a little while. And then I came home and uh, just have been enjoying a little bit of downtime. I have one paper left to write, which is going to be my Othello paper, and then I can kiss this English class goodbye. And I do apologize for my lighting. I need new blinds, <clears throat> and my overhead light is not great, uh, but this is the quietest room in the house, so that's why I'm kind of over here, and I hope to uh, get new blinds next week. And I, I have studio lights, I just didn't want to drag them out this time so <laughs> apologize for that uh let's see two weeks left in school um, before i'm off for the summer which is this going to be the first summer i've taken off since i started i'm really excited to enjoy the time off and like i had mentioned in my previous video i plan to use the summer to study for the gre and get ready for grad school and i'm also starting the process of going through weight loss surgery my appointment with my doctor is next week. And as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to be calling a surgeon and one, and just talking to them and getting some other information from them. I don't know that I'm gonna go with this particular surgeon, but I'm checking all my options. I have some in line. And of course, it just depends on where my insurance actually sends me. Uh, we are a military family, so I do have TRICARE. And a lot of things depends upon that. So this week I've also been running around and collecting records. We're getting ready to collect records. I haven't collected them yet. I actually have to pay for them. And I'll be doing that next week. But I've wrote down all the diets I've ever been on. So hopefully when I go in to see my doctor, 
excuse me, on Thursday, I will be able to uh, hit the ground running and get the ball running and not have to wait too long. I had looked at going to um, a Navy medical hospital in Virginia and their wait list is 12 to 18 months. So I've crossed that one off my list, but it's exciting an enjoyable process, sort of, if you can say that facing surgery is enjoyable, but it's just, it's, I feel so relieved already and I haven't even gone through the surgery. I've struggled with my weight my whole life. <clears throat> and as soon as I got pregnant with my daughter and I was 19, I've been consistently a hundred pounds or more overweight and I can lose weight really good and I can maintain weight. I just gain weight in between. So that's a struggle that I really have. And I have type two diabetes and obstructive sleep apnea and some other joint issues. Uh, so losing weight is about time. And I've been thinking about it for a long time and I've tried everything that I can think of to try. It's just time. I need that extra help and that extra tool. Um, I'm sitting here petting my cat. So <laughs> if that's what you're wondering, if you see my arm moving, I'm, I'm petting the kitten, so. All right, what am I wearing as far as my hair? And of course, this is just, you know, my own opinions. I am a full-time wig wearer. I do purchase all my wigs. This channel is not about trying to sell you something. So if I review something on here, it is my own opinion and of my own thing. But in full disclosure, I am a lip sense co consultant. However, I do not actively sell. I use it for a personal discount. So you guys are aware if I mention what I'm wearing as far as my lip sense color, I technically am affiliated with the company, but I'm still not trying to sell you something because it is just something I use for myself at this point. So my hair today is Mila by John Renault. And this is one of my favorite ones. I bought this one to go to the military ball that we went to with a friend and this is the longest wig I own at this point. And I love the curl. Anything with curl is like totally me. Absolutely love curls. I don't mind straight too, but curls is fun, especially since my hair is like stick straight or was stick straight before it started falling out. And the color on this one is Almondine. So it's a nice medium brown with little bits of blonde highlighting in it. And this is just a bit combed out too, because I always comb out my wigs when I get them, especially the curly ones. It just makes the curl look so much more natural. But I got a nice compliment today and it's always, it's always fun when someone gives me a compliment on my hair who doesn't know that I actually am wearing a wig. So somebody told me today, she said, girl, your hair is on point today. <laughs> So that's one blessing of having wigs full time is my hair is always on point and rocking and perfect. So I'm thinking of trying a little bit longer one here, hopefully soon. And see, I'm still trying to get used to actually have longing, longer hair because my hair has always been really short. And I still love short hair. I love pixie cuts. I think they're fun. Um, I had a pixie for a long time. And of course now I just keep my head shaved which i will show you in another video all right so i think that's all that's really going on this week just been a lot of busy stuff and it's going to be a lot of busy stuff next week uh, as we just get ready for the end of the term and finals coming up and my daughter's moving home from college and our whole house is just kind of gonna be changing this summer which is good change is good i used not to say that but change is good in the summer, we, my husband and I are also going on our first vacation slash honeymoon to celebrate our 20th wedding anniversary. We're going to Disney World and we got 64 days, 64 days. I'm so excited. I'm sure I'll get him on here. For those of you that don't know him, you'll get to meet him eventually as we get closer to this uh, trip. And then we'll be t taking video and pictures the whole time that we're going to. So really, really, really excited about that. All right, so review. I hope that you guys find this useful and helpful and maybe this is a product that you guys would like to try. And like I said, I am not affiliated with the company. 
I'm not trying to sell you anything. Just wanted this, just my honest opinion, my honest review. So the product is called Color Street. This, I know some of you will probably have heard of jam berries. I never tried jam berries, so I can't speak to that, to what they were. I know that these are similar. I know that jam berries was more of a plastic and these are actual nail polish. And I also am a nail biter. I found this product a month ago, a little over a month ago. I got invited to a party and I couldn't actually take part in the party, but a friend of mine got them, loved them, signed up with the company. <laughs> uh, so I was like, okay, I got to see what this is all about because the person that signed up with the company, it, she only sells stuff if she's truly passionate about it. So I said, okay, what's the deal? This is going to be something I've got to look at. And I will open the package to show you how the package comes. You get 16 strips for your nails. So you can see, I'm sorry if there's glare because of the plastic, but you get eight different sizes, and there are two strips in there. I'm just not going to open this plastic at this point because as soon as you open this plastic, it's, it will start drying, further drying the polish on these. So, and that makes them hard to stick on your nails. And then you get alcohol wipes to wipe your nails and clean your nails. And then you get a tiny little emery board to use to finish your nails. And the directions, of course, are really easy and on the back. I love this stuff. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm a girly girl, but I don't like to fuss. I bite my nails. It's an anxiety thing. I've always wanted long, beautiful nails. I've paid for the salon. I've paid to have acrylics on. I always love acrylics while I have them. They look great. I hate maintaining them. And I hate that it destroys my nails when I'm done. <laughs> so, and I never have long enough nails for nail polish. At the encouragement of my friend, I went ahead and I tried these even with super short nails. And when I mean super short nails, I mean to as pretty much as low as you can get. So after a month of wearing these, I actually have a decent length on my nails. And I'm starting to be able to see them from the back of my nail, from the back of my hand. So this is a month of progress. This is really, really, really good. So I love that they keep me from biting my nails because they look pretty and I want to keep them pretty and nice. So that's a deterrent for me to stop biting my nails. I also love that I can apply them all by myself. I hate nail polish. I'm nail polish challenged. I can't do it. I don't do hair very well either. So that's why wigs are really great for me because I can have great looking hair and not have to do it. I love looking like a girl, love putting on make, well, no, I don't even love putting on makeup. I usually get my eyebrows done, which I need to get done again. It's been a hot minute since I've had that done and I haven't had time to go and get them done. I wear lip scents. That's my makeup. Eyebrows, lip scents, and now fingernails. Um, and it's all me. The rest is all, is it's all natural. I just, I don't have time to fuss. Um, I think beauty's on the inside. And I think when you have a positive, happy atti attitude, that beauty on the inside shows out through the outside. So I'm, excuse me, not one to do a whole lot of makeup. I do apologize. My allergies are acting up, so I am going to take a sip. In my stitch cup. Gotta keep the magic real before I go. That's good. I'll tell you about that later. So anyway, I love that you can apply these all by yourself. And if you're very careful, what I did here is my the strips, as you saw, are fairly long. I was able to take eight strips the eight strips. Actually, there was a couple left over, but, um, and I used them, uh, all the eight strips on all my nails. Um, I put half on 
And then what I do is I, I take the file and I just kind of tuck them under. And then I take the other end and I put it on the opposite nail because they're long enough to do that. And then my package, like I said, it does dry out. I sealed with tape, so, and got it all completely sealed. So hopefully I will be able to have a second application of these same nails. Now, like I said, I'm not selling this, but I will tell you the price point of these. Um, this is called New York Minute, and I do have a picture on my All Things Apple Blossom Instagram. If you wanna go out and see that, that's a nicer picture. This is a solid color. It was $11. This is a glitter cutter color. It's $13. Girls, it costs $30 or more just to go get your nails painted at the salon. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, you're saving yourself some money. I am hard on my nails as well because I use my hands a lot. I'm always typing because of being a college student. We do not own a dishwasher and I don't care that I don't own a dishwasher. So we wash all of our dishes by hand. It doesn't bother me. There's three of us and half the time my daughter it, is not eating here anyway. So <laughs> it's not a whole lot that we've got to do. But like I said, I'm hard on them. I also knit. Um, and I love them. They last, I've been told they last 10 to 14 days. I'm inclined to believe that, but I change them about once a week because I actually like to change them. Um, they do come off with regular nail polish, so they're very easy to get on and off and they feel great. It, and it is, like I said, 100% real nail polish. They smell like nail polish, but not, it's not, ooh, you just painted your nails. So it doesn't take over the whole house. It doesn't fit, smell like a nail salon in here. It's just pretty easy. And I usually, I can do them in the dark. <laughs> Who can say they, they can do that in the dark? Okay, it's not pitch black. I will admit that. But um, we keep the lights in the living room off at night and then we'll watch TV in the evenings. And that's usually when I do these is when I'm trying to relax and I really just enjoy the process of doing them. I'm learning how to file my nails and it's a little tricky right now because they're still growing out. Um, but I'm getting them close to the shape that I want, which is going to be a Scoville. And that's because my natural thing, my fingers are square anyway. So if you think that Color Street would be something that you guys would like, look for a rep, check them out, try them out. Um, if you know that you wanna try them and you're looking for a rep, feel free to send me a message. I can send you the name of like three different ladies I know that sell this stuff, but I do not. <laughs> and like I said, not selling anything, it's just my personal opinion. All right, so what am I drinking? Um, those of you that don't know me yet, I drink crazy stuff. Being a diabetic, I don't do, I don't do sugar, but I try to keep things healthy. Um, I try not to drink a whole lot of diet soda because I'm really trying to stop because I'm need, I'm going to need to stop for weight loss surgery anyway, but I love water. But water, let's face it, it gets boring after a while, and it really does. So I drink something that is called Good Girl Moonshine. There is no alcohol in it. It is water, apple cider vinegar, and whatever flavoring and sweetening, sweeteners you want. This one that I'm drinking today is called Limerita. I don't drink alcohol either anymore. I drank when I was younger. But... I was a margarita girl. This tastes just like a margarita. No alcohol. It's ice, water, lemon juice, lime juice, a pinch of salt, some sweetener, all blended up. And the cool thing is, is it stays cold. And as it melts, it doesn't matter if it's all melted. It's just flavored water with some lemon juice. What's not to love about that? So I try to keep hydrated which I'm normally really good about. I am training myself now to be trying to take sips all day, every day, instead of just 
because normally I'll just drink a big huge cup of water or I you know if I'm really really thirsty or hot I can down a quart of water and nothing flat but that's all gonna change when I have surgery so I am trying to remember to sip and hence my cup goes with me everywhere that I go all right well I am gonna go ahead and end this video and hope that you guys enjoyed the second installment of all things apple blossom and like I said this channel is pretty much just me sharing about my life and about what I, I products that I love that are my opinions if I come across them um, just sharing my experience with wearing wigs full-time and of course my weight loss journey and our first trip to Disney and when I get around to it just how school is going what I've done what books I've read I don't get to read as many as I'd like right now what I'm knitting what I'm spinning what I'm crafting whatever I'm doing I'm just here to share the process and share the journey with you guys and I hope to I hope you guys like it so if you like it give me two thumbs up and subscribe and feel free to contact me you can contact me on Instagram at all things apple blossom or you can email me at all things apple blossom at gmail.com or leave a comment below and I will get to those as quickly as I can so have a fabulous Friday afternoon we'll see you soon